Good Thursday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. The powerful area of low pressure across the southern bearing previously in the 930 millibar range has filled in to 983 millibars as of this afternoon just off the southwestern Alaskan coastline. As that moves a lot of wind across southwest, Kodiak Island and south central, even powerful, more powerful winds are moving across the south central coastline and the mountains there where many areas are under a high wind warnings through the remainder of the afternoon. Uh, for South Central, the high wind warning will expire around 5 o'clock tonight, but for the Alaska range, uh, including the Denali region and the Deltana and Tananoff Flats region just to the north and in the lee of the mountains toward Fairbanks, expect southerly winds up to 70 miles per hour. That will continue until later on tonight. In southeast, a large channel of moisture moving across uh, the gulf with those high winds is pointing right at northern sections of southeast. A uh, flood advisory is now posted for the northern half of the uh, southeastern archipelago and as a result uh, could see anywhere from one to as much as six even seven inches of rain in some flood prone areas watch for small streams to come up with response to that heavy rain places like white pass currently seeing snow should see that switch over to rain as conditions continue to warm up as we head into the overnight hours for many across the lower interior and west coast there will be an opportunity for rain to mix with snow and in some cases freezing rain may be an issue winter storm Storm warnings are posted for the upper Kuskokwim Valley, the lower middle Yukon Valley, and for at least a little while tonight, a little bit further north, it will be just snow uh, where the Baldwin Peninsula and Selowick Valley areas could be seeing storm totals as much as six to eight inches of snow. Uh, the previous locations there may see as much as 4 to 8 as we get into 6 p.m. on Friday. Looking northward, winds will be an issue for the north slope. Look for easterlies to blow 35 to 40 miles per hour. And as a result of that, blowing snow could be an issue. Uh, winter weather advisories posted for your area there. And the central and northern interior are also looking at uh, several inches of snow possible in the region, including Fairbanks, up to 1 to 2 inches there with uh, the addition of some freezing rain in the region. The White Mountains may see as much as 2 to 4 in many locations in the upper Yukon Valley uh, could be talking about four to seven inches of snow by the time it's all said and done. A lot going on around your Alaska. You can always check the very latest at weather.gov slash Alaska. With Alaska Statewide Weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder.